there is still a heavy security watch on the business premises owned by South Africans in Ilori, the Quara state capital. This comes after the series of reprisal attacks over the killings of foreigners, including Nigerians in South Africa. When we got the information, of course, we had to be proactive. We got the police command uh, informed about what was in the offing, and we, we are very, very grateful to them. They mobilized on time. And despite attempts were made, really, some guys came actually last night to, but the policemen were able to repel them and all that. So, because of that, because of being proactive, we're, that's why we have, we've not recorded any loss or damages here. In an emergency meeting with his officers, the Commissioner of Police in Kwara State insists the safety of persons and property are paramount. We've been monitoring the situation. If you have gone around the, the capital, you will have seen more presence of policemen in those areas that are prone to this kind of attack. So, and I believe and I'm assuring you that um, we are going to prevent that from happening here in Kwara State. Adewale Onobanjo is a Nigerian returnee from South Africa. He notes that the attacks in South Africa gained momentum four years ago. Adewale insists that some Nigerians in South Africa are only making a living through shady deals. This thing has been starting from 2001, if I'm not making a mistake, due to all this atrocity that the foreigners are doing in South Africa. Before, South Africa was a country that is very cool. We don't have any problem. A former journalist who was also a member of the African National Congress and has spent over 20 years in South Africa says he's glad to be back home. Home is home. No matter whatever you might experience outside the country, if you come back home, everything will be fine. Before I traveled, I was fine. So when I came back again, within that period of two years, that's when I got my wife. I got married last year. And things are getting more better. What I've lost now, I'm regaining because home is home. Equally is here. So I think I love Nigeria. That's my country. One message on the lips of the returnees is for the government of both African nations to resolve the crisis as soon as possible before it becomes a diplomatic pain.